Let's begin with Athlete of the Year awards. Each person made their presence known from the beginning. They all put on terrific performances day in and day out and brought the excitement every single time. Patrick Cotto starts us off with the nominees for Male Athlete of the Year, sponsored by BMO. Our first nominee for Male Athlete of the Year is Salil Kandudra from Wabonzi Valley Boys Golf, who continues to improve his swing on the links. Kenduja's high school junior season got off to a delayed start after competing in numerous tournaments, including the Illinois PGA Open last August. The Warrior took home a third straight regional championship medal as an individual, which helped the Green and Gold qualify for sectionals as a team. After qualifying for state for a third consecutive season, Kenduja took the course by storm, taking the lead on the second day of the tournament. While he was not able to hold on for the win, he did take home a third place medal after a two-day round of 147. With one year left in his high school career, Kenduja and the rest of his Wobanzi teammates are ready for the back nine of his warrior career. To the soccer pitch we go with the Naperville North senior Alex Barger. Barger made his senior season one to remember, becoming one of the most decorated players in the state. Barger was named the Illinois Gatorade Player of the Year and was selected All-State and All-American. His 14 goals and 12 assists helped the Huskies to another regional championship with Barger dazzling as a playmaker. Unfortunately, the season ended in the sectional final to eventual state champion Naperville Central. Barger still has a bright future on the field ahead of him as he will take his soccer talents to Indiana University. Let's go to a two-sport athlete and Bennett Academy senior Braden Fagbemi, a Red Wing boys soccer and basketball team member. He was a big part of a Red Wing soccer team that made its way to an ESCC and regional title while earning an all-conference selection. However, it was on the basketball court where he made his biggest splash. Fagbemi averaged 12 points a game with four assists, three steals, and shot 45% from three. His calm demeanor and playmaking were on full display in big-time victories over elite teams like Joliet West and Kenwood. In the sectional championship game against Geneva, the John Hopkins commit made the game-winning putback in the final seconds to lead Bennett to the super sectional and eventually the team's first trip to state since 2016. Fagbemi was the leading scorer for the Wings in the semifinal win over New Trier and the championship game the following night. Despite falling in the 4A final to Moline, the Red Wings ended the season as the runner-up and set a new school record with 35 wins thanks to a large part of their playmaking point guard. Next up is another two-sport standout athlete in Luke Williams, a three-year varsity member of the Naperville North football and basketball team. One year after older brother Zeke earned an Athlete of the Year nomination, younger brother Luke seized his opportunity in the spotlight. On the Husky gridiron, Williams hauled in 42 catches for 614 yards and five touchdowns as a receiver, which earned all area and all DVC honors. He also helped the Huskies to the playoffs for a second straight season and showed the ability to play defense and return kicks as well. As a basketball team member, Williams took a big leap from his sophomore to junior campaign, averaging 21 points per game, along with 4.2 boards and 3.1 steals. All those led North to another regional final appearance, and those numbers rewarded him with the DVC co-MVP, IBCA All-State second team, and an honorable mention for AP All-State. Williams has one year left in Husky land, and it will be exciting to see what he does to cap off his high school career on the gridiron and the hardwood. We wrap up with Naperville Central's Maverick Ole, who's either making life miserable for opposing quarterbacks on the gridiron or breaking records in the discus on the boys track and field team. In the fall, the junior set the edge at defensive end, where he had eight and a half sacks to go with 30 tackles, earning him an all area selection and the DVC Defensive Lineman of the Year. As track season arrived this spring, his primary focus was the throws, competing in the shot put and discus. He started strong winning the indoor DVC for shot, but that was just a warm-up for big things ahead of him in the outdoor season. 
Oli showed off his discus power in a big way, finishing first in the DVC and sectionals, culminating in the Red Hawk winning the state title at Eastern Illinois. Despite having already achieved so much, Oli still has one year to go. There is no doubt that this mighty Red Hawk is already putting in the work to make his final year one to remember on the football field and in the throwing circle. And the winner for Male Athlete of the Year is Luke Williams. What an amazing season for him both on the field and the court. I'm interested to see him continue his success in his senior year. Congratulations, Luke.